morning my friends. Welcome back to the den where we're going to share another shave. Today's shave is brought to us by Chiseled Faced Ghost Town Barber. This is one I have no excuse for not using. I love the soap. I love the scent. It's kind of what started me on my cowboy trend. Uh, all the leather and smoke and gunpowder scents that I like. And this is kind of what started it all for me. Uh, I don't even know if it's still in production, but uh, I, when you have as much soap as I've got and you rotate around and try to get some variety, you know, a, a, what, a four ounce thing of soap will last a pretty good long time. We're using to kind of be kind of cowboy-like. This is a chestnut uh, uh, brush handle. It was turned for me by my friend Gray Dog. This came out of a cabin at the scout camp where I used to spend my youth at. It's a badger br uh, bristles. And today, remember I was talking about the supply injector razor when I used this last time? Uh, for some reason, and you, you never know when you get old as me, I put this thing back in its box and it was back on the shelf. I never even thought to look there, but there it is. This is a supply adjustable, uh, kind of a new production of a Schick type razor. And uh, it's a lot heavier than the, I'm back, sorry for the interruption. That was the spouse unit, she's on her way home from work. We've got the, the soap already lathered and we are ready to give her the business here. Uh, this is from Groomatorium, and this soap is, lathers nice. It's always as, has a, from the lather, but sometimes the soap, when you have a soap and aftershave combination, the soap is a little bit more subtle in how it, you get the, the uh, fragrance, but this stuff is like right on your face, and, uh, it's nice, I like it. It is not as uh, leathery, but it's kind of pepper-like and it's got other very unabashedly masculine fragrance. And that's okay for us, especially while we're shaving, which is a very manly sport. Uh, this is the, said the uh, supply. I put it back in its box and it still even had a blade in it. I didn't even take that out. I'm gonna warm it in the hot water here for a little bit. That tends to help the uh, blade to slide along through the, through the uh, whiskers better. And just like the, the Schick Type M that this has a lot of design features that are similar It just slides its way right through. And then, because it's heavy, it's easier to let the razor do its job. Just let the, let the razor do its work. Don't think you have to push and make a razor do its job it slides right through and does what it needs to do I gotta say that the supply razor is easily as nice as the M sentimentality for me I think I like the M better but that's just because uh, I remember my father using it For most of his life, my dad was a, or an electric razor guy. It wasn't until he got much older that he went back to using blades. And then when he was real sick, uh, towards the end of his life, I shaved him with the, well, not this, well, with this razor. Um, so I would go in and visit with him and then give him a shave.
That was a memory I didn't really want to stir up much. In the winter time when you're stuck inside, at least for me, you get a little winter blues coming in on me. But the angles and the uh, feel of the supply is very, very similar to what I expect out of a chick or uh, was it, uh, I don't remember what the other name because, yeah, I like, I like my injector razors or, or single edges in general because the uh, Lachlan Vector is probably my favorite non-scrape razor. I've got a lot of lather left. I may just go ahead and kind of put her around and do a little clean up on here and we've not far into the shave so heck if you guys don't mind indulge me a little bit while I do a little bit of a little bit of scrubbing down here nobody's beard is the same the whiskers go in all directions you have general guidelines but I'm going to part. That'll do. There's a little bit enough difference for everybody just to make things kind of that was, that's nice. Let's see how this one did. I don't expect any kind of feedback because these are these are great razors. No feedback at all, no problems. So if you're kind of looking for a injector type razor and you don't want to get a vintage razor, this is certainly a very viable uh, selection. This is a uh, supply adjustable razor. Let's uh, finish this thing up with the Thayer's Lemon. Saturday, the week is all pretty much done for us. And it, here's the aftershave. Now, the, I hope they use the same fragrances for the soap and the aftershave, but for some reason it. This is a little bit more, a little bit different from the soap. It could just be my nose has gotten used to it, but it's wonderful, wonderful fragrance. And we'll hit ourselves up with a little bit. A little bit of talc. Cut the shine off my head. And that's it. Very wonderful shave for today. We used Chiseled, chiseled Faces Ghost Town Barber. We used our uh, chestnut brush handle and a supply adjustable. Thank you so much for coming. I'm Major Rich, and you'll find me at theshavingcounter.com. If you're finding me on the YouTubes, drop a like. It helps my algorithm. And, uh, it's 
more people get to see my beautiful face. And uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.